use of the server sampler. So to use the server sampler, you're going to place it in the stream bottom, usually in a riffly area. Um, this samples one foot squared. Um, you're going to have to dig down six inches in this entire square that's laid on the stream bottom. You're going to take each one of these rocks, rub them off. Uh, usually it's done better with a buddy, someone to hold the server sampler and someone to dig down into the substrate. Like I said, you're going to want to wash these rocks off. They have bugs that cling to them. Um, they all get captured in this net. You're going to want the water to be going downstream into the net. To move all the particles down, you're going to move the net like that two or three times, and you're going to have a buddy help you close up the frame. Once you get that frame closed up, uh, you're going to pull out the net. You're going to pretty much invert it like a sock, so all of that stuff is collected at the bottom of the, I guess, the net or the sock part of this. Um, and a buddy is usually a little bit helpful in these times. Um, so you're going to pull it up, get it all situated, and a good practice to do is to actually grab some stream water from the stream to put into the jar so that you could wash your fingers off and get all of the um, detritus and uh, all the invertebrates in the sample jar. So all of it gets collected in this bottom pocket. You're going to take your hands and scoop it all out. Scoop it all out as best as you can. Uh, you may not be able to get everything which sometimes is a little tedious, um, but make sure you get into those corners. You can dip your hand into the water. Um, you just want to make sure that you collect everything and you're not being biased. So as it gets closer to the bottom and all of that stuff is sticking to that screen netting, um, you can actually take the tip of the net and dip it into the cup and it'll clean it off that way. Um, if there's dirt on there, not super worried about that. It would just be um, you're trying to get off all the bugs. So to clean that net, you're going to keep it inverted. You're actually going to put it back into the stream and clean it all off. Um, you could swish it around in the water. And when you're done, you're going to invert the net again and put it back into its case.